Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Spurkus, and welcome back to Greedfall. Where in the last episode we got uh, some disturbing news. Uh, I know. Oh, Deirdre. Deirdre is the chief. Okay, Hefe. We need to talk to Hefe. I thought we need to talk. We needed to talk to the Inquisitor, but no. Deirdre is the Hefe over here. All right, Hefe. What's going on in your cave over there? What do Answers. you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. The ritual. I've never seen anything like it. I hoped you'd be able to explain what they were trying to achieve. As you can see, my companion is not a Renaigse like the others. He bears our likeness. Please share your knowledge with us. Grant us the chance to understand. Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Renoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion, but if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come, though what you will hear may not be to your liking. Okay. Crazy shit. Find the sanctuary. Where could that one be? Not in here. But in here. Wait, what? Um. I'm a bit confused. It's supposed to be here, but it's not here. What? Very strange indeed. Right, let's get the fuck out of here of this uh, strange village. This is strange. Strange natives. We definitely need to kill them all. Because they use blood magic. Blood magic. Magic full of blood. Hello, madam. How might I help you? Really? Have you been here for? She doesn't want to. Time? She so doesn't want to hear how how this worked out. That will be all, sister. Really, Rachel. there's no conversation about that. Z zero, none, nothing. All right. Bullshit, I call. Utter bullshit. All right, let's um, let's walk around a little bit here. Just a teeny tiny bit. Hello, dear. You're kind of broken, aren't you? <laughs> Stupid ass dear. Oh, really? Oh, there's something hiding in there. That's for sure. Hmm. This one's closer. Stepping in the ass. You bitch. Gonna wait a little bit. Make the stasis do its magic. Praise the sun. <laughs> I 
I don't know, I like these hanging algae down on these uh, trees. Nice. Looks truly nice. The swampy area. It seems to be like a clean swamp around here, honestly. Better right. Better right. I fucking love the pistol. I fucking love the pistol. Ah, oh, look, dead inquisitor. Oh well. You can't go there. Enemies? Where? Oh, there. Sleeping, are we? What are we doing, huh? What are we doing, huh? Oh, I know, we're dying. Just sometimes Petrus just gets stuck. It just, just stops doing anything, which is not cool. I gotta say, not cool. A lot of dead people around here. Hmm. Hey, chicky chicky. Goodbye, chicky chicky. There it is. Now we found this new one. Okay. 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 We can go there later, whenever we please. Which is not right now. Hmm. Man, they, they've been busy around in this swamp here. Plenty of dead people around. And a bunch of monsters too. Protect me in this battle! Okay. Wait a second. The big boys.
Nice. That did some good damage right here. Look, that wonders, man. Wonders. Mm -hmm. My son, I do not know what got me, what in, what got into me when I decided to join those expeditions. But I should have listened to you. We have been pitiful wading through these swamps for days. We've already lost many members of the expedition as they were taken away or poisoned by the hideous creatures resembling the demons of the Leme. Perhaps some priests would have uh, a better chance of defeating it, but our science is completely powerless. I have been coughing terribly since yesterday. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. So this was a uh, quest thingy. And I says our armpits are, are always like <laughs> doing something. Like our, our, we have sparkling armpits. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? Okay, what the fuck is this? You were supposed to heal yourself, not attack. All right, this was a, a death in a long time. After a long, long time. There you go. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All yeah, right. Let's go get the bitches then. These are strange monsters. These are like these lizard dragons, but they also spit poison or something. Good. Power against my pistol mates. Close to his sarichness, Kiri. Your magic is running out. Take a potion. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Beautiful. Power of sun. Even though we are Thor or something. Still, it's the power of the sun. Hmm. Some greases over there too. Some bull sharks, shark bulls. Oh, shark bisons. Bison sharks. And a, a high level one, too. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hello, sir. That was all working out. Just fine. Okay, this is a camp area. We should check out the camp area. Where is it? Here? Ah, oh, right in front of us. Alright. And our armpits are again sparkly. Screw it, I don't I don't want to load again. I do. Hello. Definitely a quest area. Now, yeah. something's going on over here. here nothing interest which is a bit sad but okay this happens a lot a way too often I would say because the game wants to, to backtrack a little bit here and there walk around here and there just to pad on the game time a bit more and more here and there for no reason whatsoever well to appear longer than it is but It's not a good reason. Hello. Another one? That was another one. Ah, oh, the missionary. The local one. Okay, but before we go there... Let us uh, explore this area here. Good night. That's where we came from right now. That's not where we came from. It is not. It is not. That's where it came from. Oh. Oh, these, oh, these pets are attacking us right now, right? Oh. Oh, son of a bitch. Child, you need healing. Yes, 
sound bitches. Alright, now we have made a full circle. Good. Very good indeed. Oh, look at campsite. We found all three of them. The bet this only gives you like 100 experience points. It's, it's really, really not much. Not much at all. But look at this little encampment here. They're even making like a big ass um, church, cathedral thingy. They're busy around here. To build a, a decent second city around. Look at that. Definitely busy. Definitely busy. Hey, Foxy. Quack, 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 quack. Yes, yes. I heard you the first time, Foxy. What the hell are you guys doing over here? That always takes down the fucking bison. <laughs> uh, I love it. I don't know, these, these pistol shots, these individual ones, they, they make you feel more powerful than the stupid magic around here. Well, because they are more powerful. But. get inside. Oh, they even built it on sacred ground, didn't they? Oh, it what is. an astounding place. My mother told me about this place. She said that the village was devoured by the houses of the sons. How could their chief accept this? All that's left to do is to find Father mm. Eustinius. I appeal to the better nature of the travelers of the road. My brother decided to explore it and never returned. If then he could worry find his body. Please take up a grave for him. Yada 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 yada. Uh, Aggressive is yada 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 yada. Whatever. Let's destroy it. I don't really care about these things. I really, really don't. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it was a normal village. And they made a. non native village out of it. The fuck are you, buddy? Are you the chief? Hello. I am Lair, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello, the Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. I did not know that. What do you want from me? Apparently, we don't have any important have questions for this guy. Like, like so I would like to know what happened here. Decide, eh? seems to be like. I don't care. If you say so, decide, eh? Then we're not gonna ask any questions then. Boing, boy moi. This is just random houses. Alright. Let's go to the big ass church. They've been busy around here. Justinius. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Justinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? 
The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. <laughs> they are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. So... I must leave you. Since he's Goodbye. saying Maybe it so light. much. I wondered how my people could accept the priests settling in their home like this. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Probably. Learn more about the story of Eden. That was the wrong button. Father. I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do? Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of St. Matthias, and everything here fit the description of St. Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path Yay for the light! Enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. And how well have neighboring villages welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So? We sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedlug, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. There are no Onol Manawi and no warriors here either. Did they all leave? Perfect harmony takes time, my child. I have no doubt that one day we will manage to convince your kind to convert. But, in the meantime, we must settle for the miracle of great coexistence that this place already represents. Nobody thought we could live side by side with your people. And yet... I must leave you. Goodbye. May the and yet, well, we'll have to see how this yet really is, dear father, brother, Eustinius. All right, former chief, former chef. So what do you say about all of this, Mr. Old Sage? You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? I've heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme, and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions, talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning they were building houses next to ours. 
And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them. They were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. One of the theologians told me that you would help them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called the soul Lassa, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace, and the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the worst tyrant. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renegse to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men. Perhaps wiser than they ha! Crazy savages. I have to go. Like so many. All right. Who else wants to talk to us? Anybody has anybody has something smart to say? Huh? Huh? Anyone? Yep. How about you? Fuck you too. Oh no, I think she was actually quite nice to us. Still, fuck you, woman. What is this? Uh huh. Gorgeous. And. Uh, somebody at the period over there, okay. Disgusting. Bodily functions. Disgusting. <laughs> okay. If you are saying that these tablets bear right from the very hand of our <laughs> Hello. Virginia. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have It's about the to tablets, do. you stupid bitch. Nothing that you do is as important as this damn tablets. I talked to Father Eustinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on Saint Matthias is conducted. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Ah, oh, alas. I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to, but I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. I imagine someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. I am the one who should be thanking you. 
Especially if you manage to retrieve the it's tablets. It's a big gift, bro, girl. It's a big gift. The Mother Cardinal told me that this village had been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings, and then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of Saint Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The Islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village, finally accepted our presence, things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove well, to be useful. Okay. Anyways, guys, this investigation Thank will you. take a bit longer. So, um, like, this woman over here. See, that's why you don't put the woman in charge of chopping wood, man. Go back to the kitchen! <laughs> in the meantime, I just take a piss right here. Anyways, fellas, thank you very much for watching. We're gonna investigate the tabloid chair in the next episode. Do you have oh, look, it's the charlatan again. Tablets. Some of the village savages helped us during the search. Perhaps they are behind all of this. There was a particular woman who seemed to want us to be there. I don't remember her name. Eugenia. Though. It was her all along. Anyways, guys, see you next episode. We find those tablets broken or in one piece or two pieces because I think it's, well, it's more than it's a couple of tablets. I don't know how many it is. So we'll find them either whole or not. But finding them, we will. See you then.